I'm Rajesh, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a custom domain for an Amazon API Gateway. Let's get started. The API Gateway custom domain provides a simple and intuitive URL for your API users that they can then use to interact directly with your API resources. Depending on your API endpoint, you can create two types of custom domain names, edge optimized and regional. Major differences between these custom domains are mentioned in the following table. You can also see these differences on the AWS Knowledge Center article that's associated with this video. For edge optimized, creates an Amazon CloudFront endpoint such as cloudfrontid.cloudfront.net to accept the request for your domain name. For regional custom domain name, creates a target endpoint such as d-id.execute-api.us-one.amazonaws.com. For edge optimized, the AWS Certificate Manager certificate must be present in US East 1 and must contain the domain name as one of the alternative domain names for the certificate. For regional custom domain name, the AWS Certificate Manager certificate must be present in the same AWS region as the custom domain name. For edge optimized, the domain name that's used for the edge optimized custom domain name must be unique for the CloudFront distribution. For regional custom domain name, you can create two regional custom domain names with the same name in two different regions. Before you set up a custom domain name for an API, you must have a SSL TLS certificate in AWS Certificate Manager ACM for the custom domain type that you are going to use. To get a certificate for a domain name that's issued by or imported into the ACM, register your internet domain such as rajesh.awskcvideos.org. You can use either Amazon Route 53 or third-party accredited domain registrar. Either create an SSL TLS certificate for the domain name in ACM or import one into ACM. Sign into AWS console and search for AWS Certificate Manager. Note that for an edge-optimized custom domain name, you must create a certificate in US East 1 region for the regional custom domain name, create the certificate in the same region as the custom domain. Choose list certificates, choose request, and select request a public certificate and choose next. For the domain name field, enter a domain name such as rajesh.awskcvideo.org. This name must match the custom domain name that you will create for your API in API Gateway. Optionally, choose Add another name to the certificate if required. Select the validation method so that ACM can verify that the domain that you are requesting the certificate for belongs to you. You can choose either the DNS validation or email validation method. Add tags if required and then click Request. Click on View Certificate button. Now, to validate the domain, I'm using root 53 in this example, but the process is same with the third-party DNS provider too. In the search box, search for root 53 and open root 53 console in another tab. Choose Hosted Zones, then select a hosted zone. Choose Create Record. Provide the record name as CNAME, which we got from the previous step. And then select the record type as CNAME record. For the value, we need to provide the CNAME value, which we got from the previous step.
and choose create records. After you validate the domain, you will see a valid ACM certificate for your domain in your account with status issued. Now that your ACM certificate is ready, let's create the custom domain name and use the certificate with your API. Sign in to the AWS console and search for API Gateway. In the navigation pane, choose custom domain names. Choose create. Under new custom domain name, enter your domain name. Choose minimum TLS version according to the API that you are going to map. Note, for HTTP and WebSocket APIs, TLS 1.2 is the only supported TLS version. Mutual TLS authentication is turned off by default, but if you want, you can use this toggle button to turn on mutual TLS authentication and provide the trust store URI and trust store version. Choose the endpoint configuration as either edge optimized or regional. Note, for the REST API endpoint, you can use both an edge optimized and regional custom domain name. Depending on the endpoint configuration that you choose, select the ACM certificate from the drop down list. If you select the edge optimized custom domain name, then the ACM certificate must be in the US East 1 region. If you select the regional custom domain name, then the ACM certificate must be in the same region as the custom domain. Add tags if required. Choose create domain name to create the custom domain name with these settings. Note, for WebSocket and HTTP endpoints, you can create only the regional custom domain name. After you create the custom domain name, choose API mappings to map the request to your custom domain name with your API. Choose configure API mappings. Note, Edge optimized custom domain name and regional custom domain can have mappings for an edge optimized API gateway or regional API gateway or both. Choose add new mapping and then select the API and stage to map with the domain. Optionally, select the base path to use for this mapping. Add the path if you want to map multiple APIs or stages with a single domain. Note, you can't map a custom domain name for a WebSocket API to REST APIs or HTTP APIs. However, you can associate a regional custom domain name with REST APIs and HTTP APIs. Also, you can use API Gateway version 2 APIs to create and manage regional custom domain names for REST APIs and HTTP APIs. Choose Save. Choose Configurations. The console displays the target domain name according to the endpoint configuration. You will see a API Gateway domain name in the form of d-id.execute-api dot eu-west1.amazon-aws.com. Along with the certificate ARN, you selected for the regional endpoint type. For the edge optimized endpoint type, you will see the target domain name as the CloudFront endpoint that looks similar to distribution-id.cloudfront.net. Next, complete the DNS mapping, set up a DNS record, Add the DNS provider for your domain and point it to the target domain name that you created. I'm using Amazon Route 53 in the example, but the process is same with the third party DNS providers. Navigate to Route 53 console and choose hosted zones. Then select the hosted zone, choose create record, provide the record name and then select the record type as a-ipv4 or CNAME record for your custom domain. Use the same domain that you used for the certificate and the API gateway. 
for example, rajesh.awskcvideo.org. If you're using a third-party DNS provider, then you can set up only the CNAME record. For alias, choose yes. Then choose alias to API Gateway Service. Choose your region. Choose the endpoint, that's the API Gateway domain name, which is d-id.execute-api.euwest1.amazon.com. Create record. Similarly, you can also create the DNS mapping for the edge optimized custom domain endpoint. After you complete these steps, you can issue requests to the custom domain, followed by the base path that you selected, the request routes to the API gateway according to the base path mapping that you created. To initiate the request, I am using the curl command for the REST API endpoint use HTTPS. As you can see, I am getting the same response that was returned from my API gateway that is mapped with this domain. You now know how to set up a custom domain for an API gateway. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>